sense of places. Right, and that also connects to with your sense that as an artist, you're doing all sorts of things and everything connects. And there's one theory of art that if you want to be a great artist, you stick to one art and you yeah. put everything else to the side. Yes. But for you, that mixture, you're talking about the collaboration with Tom, for instance, is something that really kind of generates a more art for you. That, that's, that has to do with the blessings of a couple of things. Number one, the disingenuousness of not knowing how to uh, do anything else. I, my, I'm married to a saint who allows me to do this and <laughs> knowing that there's not going to be any return for it other than the fact that she likes who I am and I'm happy doing it. Um, but also, I, wanna, I really want to stress this. If I'm r right now, I'm a little nervous about explaining these because I don't know how to explain them, mm -hmm. and and that's sort of what it's about. It's 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 a it's a voyage of discovery. It's a process of uh, of uh, of um, finding out as I go along. But it's also about not knowing. It's a, it's, it's about embracing. It's oh. about having a marriage with going <laughs> on in the world. And you see my character walk marching through the right. the. Uh, the hopefully not too chaotic. Does uh, he have a name or is it just Coyote? No, he doesn't. He's not, he doesn't have a name because I found out that coyotes are never named oh, okay. uh, and, uh, and I didn't want to uh, turn him, him, him into a character. Mm -hmm. it, and so it's, it's more of an unknown sense of, okay. yeah. Now your poems are really short, so I, I think I'm going to go ahead and let you right. read for a little while and when you feel like you're ready to come to a, a natural break, we can stop and kind of talk about what I it is. That I we think I have try. more to say this way okay. <laughs> or less, <laughs> hopefully less. Same thing. All right, same thing, yes. Uh, I'm going to start with uh, three brand new poems that I just inserted in here just because one always likes one's right. newest stuff, um, even if one can't remember what it is on the TV. Um, by the way, I don't watch t uh, television myself because I cannot seriously put pixels together. And as Tom would point out and, and other friends of mine, if I get too close to a computer, it'll stop working. Mm, okay. Which is strange. <laughs> <with a force laughs> we'll keep field, you so, the so that's my excuse. This first poem is uh, about two weeks old and it goes like this. And this is to you. Thank you for letting me come here to talk about my mountains. They were here, and now they're gone, and so forth. It is said we will soon enter nirvana. What's the holdup? And uh, this next poem is like this. The moon in moonlight. I'm going to repeat that poem, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> the moon in moonlight. And here's poem number three. Who'd believe this poem took me five minutes to write? Now that is one of my favorite of your poems. I've heard <laughs> Barry's facts read that before. He really likes that poem. Th that's a, there's yeah. something very zen about that poem. There's something yeah. really funny about it, too. Who'd believe? Because in, in a sense, I mean, it, it's a, it took me 55 years to come up with who'd <laughs> believe this poem took me five minutes to write. Here I am explaining it, but it's it, it's the, yeah, the it, it almost wants to be read it, twice. Right. Yeah. But now that's interesting because to the extent that someone might say, ah, well, that's just a toss-off line. Well, what makes that a poem? Because I think it is a poem. What makes it a poem? I think that my favorite poems, poets, and not, uh, they're, they're of course not the best poets, but the poets I relate to the most are poets who, who drop all sense of, uh, of decoration, all sense of, um, uh, like here's a poem by, by I just mentioned, uh, Santoka Tendotoneda. He has, I, I read two books in my life about him. In one book, there's a po that po poem that said, The Dry Weeds, Ineffable Sadness. And later on in his life, he wrote a poem that went like this, The Dry, the, the dry Weeds, Unbound Joy. Mm -hmm. You know, and that sense of, he has one of, when he's dying, it says, Mountains Fading, Stars Out. And there's a silence yeah, around yeah. all these poems. Yeah, it's unadorned. Is there right. silence? This, this guy walked something like 36,000 miles in the last 10, mi 10 years of his life living on little handfuls of rice mm -hmm. and lots of sake. He had, he was, <laughs> I, 